What's up everybody? Welcome to my review for the AC-01 model level deformation toys arms iron or also known as Transformers Prime bulkhead. So as you can see here got some really nice artwork on the front if you like that kind of box thing. This is only for ages 14 and up so if uh, you're not over 14, then I uh, don't think you can purchase this. Um, on the back, got a few more photos here. Him in truck mode. Hammer. Hammer. And there he is, standing big and tall as well. So, let's uh, crack this bad boy open and see what we got. Alright, so, in the box you get instructions of course you get his mace you get this super rad hammer and you get a spare bumper that reads let's focus here DP-12-001 DreamWorks have no idea what that means Maybe someone out there knows the relevance of that. So, um, I really like this hammer. The uh, parts on it here actually kind of articulate. They open up on each side to give it more of like a little dynamic look. And that's pretty cool. And uh, that'll come into play more later on part of the transformation. As for AC-01, also known as Bulkhead, he's a, he's a pretty cool figure. I really like the blue painted eyes. He does have light piping in the head, but um, I find that the light piping, when you're just sitting on a shelf regularly, kind of washes out the face or makes the eyes look dead. And so it's Kind of, kind of like the. Uh, I mean, I love the gimmick of a light pipe, but as far as like aesthetics, I really like the the painted eyes. The silver is very nice here. Some silver here. Those little um, wrist gauntlets. They uh, pop in and out. Gives his arms a little more depth there. See the back of them. Really love how the uh, wheels do sit up on the shoulders, um, and how all the panels lock in here into the chest. For articulation, we have a swivel at the thigh. Let's go out this far. He can full on pull a Van Dam on us. Legs kick forward only about that much. Back about that much. He's got a nice knee band so he can get a good, like when he's kicking a soccer ball here. His actually toes kind of move due to transformation. And he has a slight double joint in the knee also for transformation um, arms go out arms come up eh, a little past 90 and uh, no wrist swivel but wrist can pivot in a bit that's also due to transformation um, also push his wrists all the way in like this he has a little Little port here. I haven't checked to see if that's five millimeter or not, but boom. You can peg his little mace on there. And get that classic bulkhead look. Alright. As for other accessories, he does have the hammer. Put it on, you simply pull off this part here, insert it into his hand, if I don't break it first, ah, there we go, it's tighter in a pickle jar. Put the end back into the hammer, and now he's got this Super sick hammer. 
that's the Wreckers hammer that the Wreckers collection ball kit should have come with. That that's butte. And also with the hammer. You can turn in both fists. Pop the hammer pieces off here. And if you're looking here, there is a large port. Like I said before, these articulate out. Stand up there, buddy. All right, rinse and repeat on the other side there. Like so. And he has these super rad looking, like, blaster fists. And I really love this. This is, this is super cool. Figure has a lot of playability, a lot of options. Sometimes I get uh, overwhelmed by accessories. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. Maybe I can peg them onto somewhere. Um, but this, this is really cool. I really, I really like all that's going on here. Didn't mention before, but he does have a head swivel. He can't look up and down, and uh, no way swivel. But you know, he's a big bulky bot. He transformed really well. So um, with that said, let's get him uh, transformed up into his truck mode. Alrighty. And here we have Transformers Prime bulkhead, or rather AC-01 fourth party transformed up into the SUV mode. This thing is awesome. There's just something about this vehicle mode. I really like it rolls really well. Um, from the side you can't really tell there's much robot underneath there even the the fist pegs look like tailpipes so I really like this I really like the way the armored vehicle aesthetic carries over here the um it just looks like a tough and tumble armored SUV um, got some clear windows on the front and you can see a, you can see the robot mode a little bit in there the robot pieces um, but I kind of like it. It adds to the armored car look for me. Same with these silver painted windows on both sides. Uh, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't carry on with the same as the front windows, but it gives that armored car look. A little uh, roof rack up there, which is just a little detailing, but it really adds a nice break to the color. I mean, it could just be painted all green. Same here. And I like that there's little highlights as well. Got some paint on the wind or on the uh, headlights there, paint on the tail lights, and a little magical bumper here. Our DP 12 001 DreamWorks bumper goes on like that. I'm not sure why. Um, my guess is copyright. Have to make it just different enough. From the Hasbro version, so they don't get sued. Could be wrong there. The tires are really cool. The sculpting on the tires is really awesome. It would be cool if these were maybe painted a silver or something, but also it's an armored vehicle, so you know, it makes sense that those would be blacked out rims. Um, neat little feature is the little booster rockets here. Peg on to his mace, and he's got like turbo mode um, it's pretty cool it's like the mace becomes a like a, a fusion core or a turbine that powers these two jet engines that can just give him super speed and yeah I like that a lot the detailing on the on the hammer part here is really cool too it looks like it should go under the car mode somehow I don't believe it does but it's just really nice that this it has this sculpting in. Um, 
transformation on this guy is pretty easy, but does some really, really cool things. There's some really neat ways that the door shift back and the hood shifts up. And even these lights, let's see if I can do it, they tilt to give it more of that look that Bulkhead had in the show. Um, just a lot of attention paid to this. I could be wrong. This is a maybe is this a remold of the Transformers Prime first edition bulkhead that came out years ago that was impossible to get unless I think you lived in Canada. I think that's the only place those came out. And I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, it's just a if this is the first edition, it's just a testament to what those old Hasbro designers um, did, and it's just a such a solid figure. For some size comparisons, here is APC Toys Attack Prime 4th version, Magic Square MSB46 Light of Victory 2.0, Transformers Velocitron Collection Clampdown, and Transformers Animated Voyager Class bulkhead. For some robot mode comparisons, here's Transformers Prime bulkhead. Next to APC Toys Dark Master, also known as Transformers Prime Megatron. Transformers Speedia Collection Velocitron 500 Override. And lastly, Transformers Animated Leader Class Bulkhead. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> Love that guy too. So, that's been my look at the uh, AC 01 fourth party. Arms Iron Transformers Prime Bulkhead. Um, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things if you feel like it. It would be pretty cool. Let me know what you like, let me know what you didn't like. This is literally my first video ever. If you stayed till the end, thank you very much. I greatly appreciate it. Y'all have a good day.